This nugget is about the solar system. The Sun is at the centre of the solar system. Eight planets orbit the Sun. Dwarf planets, asteroids and comets also orbit the Sun. Moons and other satellites orbit the planets. Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune are all planets. Pluto is not a planet. It is a dwarf planet. Like planets, dwarf planets are spherical and orbit the Sun. However, unlike planets, they have not cleared their field. This means that other objects nearby also orbit the Sun, rather than orbiting the dwarf planet. Comets are made from ice and dust. Their orbits are elliptical, as shown in this diagram, meaning their distances from the Sun changes during their orbit. At some points, they are very close to the Sun, whereas at other points, they are much further away. When they are close to the Sun, material on their surface vaporises. This causes the tail, which can sometimes be seen from Earth. Asteroids are made from metal and rock. Most asteroids are located in the asteroid belt, which is between Mars and Jupiter. Over time, asteroids have collided with Earth. This process releases huge amounts of energy and throws rock and dust into the Earth's atmosphere. The rock and dust in the atmosphere block out some of the heat and light from the Sun. This has caused the temperature of the Earth to decrease. Please note that the reduction of heat from the Sun is much greater than the heat given off from the collision of the asteroid with Earth. The term satellite is used to refer to any body that orbits a planet. Satellites orbit the Earth, but there are satellites that orbit other planets too. An artificial satellite is a satellite that is man-made. These are used for a number of purposes, including communication and monitoring. Natural satellites are not man-made. The Earth's moon is an example of a natural satellite. Other planets have moons too. Jupiter has over 60 moons. Some artificial satellites are made to orbit the Earth above the equator in exactly 24 hours. These satellites are described as geostationary because they are always in the same position above the Earth. Geostationary satellites are useful for communication because they can receive and send signals from specific locations. Some artificial satellites have a polar orbit. These satellites pass over both the North Pole and the South Pole as they orbit. These satellites are used for monitoring as they will pass over a large proportion of the globe as they orbit. This means they are able to take images and record information from a wide range of locations. Please note that the Earth is also spinning beneath the satellite. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a like. And if you have any questions, leave a comment below. Check out more of our content and remember to subscribe to our channel.